At Farms.com Risk Management, we understand that commodity price risk management and sound financial advice are essential in today's volatile crop and swine sectors. Visit our website at www.riskmanagement.farms.com. Welcome to the weekly Farms.com crop report. This is Mo Agostino, Managing Commodity Strategist with Farms.com Risk Management. Well, we got a shocker this morning from the USDA in the October uh, WASD or crop production report. It's a game changer. This report was very bullish for corn and beans, kind of neutral for wheat. Uh, let's go th quickly through some of the numbers. We've got uh, U.S. Uh, corn yields down to 155.8. That's 6.7% lower than last month at 162.5. We've got ending stocks down to 902 million bushels. That's down from the 1.16 billion in last month's report. That's even after the USDA found 300 million more corn bushels in the September grain stocks report at the end of September. Harvested acreage up 0.3 million. We got feed usage up 150, exports down 100 million. Bottom line, this is a very bullish report. The market's going to have to move higher to ration demand. Soybeans, 44.5 is the yield, or uh, down about uh, 0.3, or 44.4 down 0.3 versus 44.7 from September. Ending stocks down to 265 versus 350 in September. Uh, harvested acreage down 1.2, that's a big number down. Crushing's up 15 million, exports up 35 million, and residual and feed usage down 38 million. So again, as global economies continue to um, outperform 4.8% uh, from IMF this year, 4.2% next year, demand's going to remain strong. The battle for acres is on for 2011. We're most likely moving higher. Wheat yield pegged at uh, 46.7 bushels per acre, down from 46.9 in September. Harvested acreage, uh, 47.7 million, down from 48.3 in September. Feed residual up 10 to 180. 80 million bushels, ending stocks down to 853 million versus 902 last month. The average trade guess was 880, so slightly bullish, but um, a rising tide will lift all boats. Wheat and beans are going for the ride. If corn wants to lead and go higher, it's going to do that. We got some holidays on Monday, Thanksgiving holiday in Canada, Columbus Day holiday in the States, so we'll resume trading on Monday night. Most likely going to go higher. We got a lot of people wanting to buy a lot of contracts at an up limit for corn, beans, wheat. Have a great weekend. Till next time, take care.